we're outside. Stuck in Sao Paulo. In a hotel. Because apparently my domestic um, plane was two hours late to their flight to Sao Paulo for me to... Uh, yeah, and it was two hours late to Sao Paulo. When I got off, I had to change airports to another one in Sao Paulo. There was an international Qatar one that was about to leave. And guess what happened? I missed the flight. And Latam isn't letting us do any other international ones. Qatar already said it isn't their problem. So Latam, who apparently also does um, international flights, not just domestics, they have to relocate us. And they're going to try getting us back to Australia. But seriously, couldn't they could have done so much better than get two hours late just because there were missing pilots. Actually, no, they weren't even missing pilots. It's just one wanted to change. One didn't want to fly anymore. But can you believe it? And then they put us in this, like, tiny little hotel that's, like... I don't... I mean, at least they did it for free, but we gotta go back soon at, like, 12 p.m. to go back because... This is just unacceptable. Wait, can you just believe? Like, imagine trying to get home and then this happens. And the fact everyone talks Portuguese here, yeah, I can do, I can speak Portuguese, but everything is just a little bit less. Like, I can understand it, but not as much as if they were speaking English. And the fact that when they're talking to us, they just randomly move on to someone else. And then it's like two girls yesterday at the airport just screaming at the woman. Like, one of them wanted to get some sort of badge or something. And the other one wanted to get a flight to New York, I think, or Miami. But they wouldn't let her because apparently the bag held suspicious items like drugs. But they were just like uh, flight sickness things. But they said that they had to check in case there were drugs. So, yeah. Anyway, goodbye. The, my mum's downstairs at the reception trying to get a taxi. And we are very lucky all this is free. Because we honestly don't have any Rios, Re Rios, if that's how you say it in English. We don't have any more. We spent it all on a taxi to get us to the airport. And the fact that guy got free money because he probably knew we weren't going to get to the airport quick enough. Oh, crap. When I saw my mom crying, I already knew he had failed and it hurt so much. So... Yeah, stuck in Sao Paulo, Brazil, on the other side of the world. Goodbye.